Hello, and welcome back to Let's Play Tales of Vesperia. And this is your host, River Foxen, and we are trying to find our way through these woods. Oh, I guess there's a path. Wait, no, this is the path I came from. So there's a path here. Sorry if I hurt you. Pretty good for a dog. Hmm. I don't know that I like the axe very much as a weapon. It shortens the uh, range a little too much. Red eyes, knights. Why can't we just have a nice, fun, relaxing trip? You're one to complain, Yuri. Yeah, weren't those knights calling your name? But you're the one who was fighting with the mages, Rita. Please, everyone, we're okay, aren't we? I actually think it's kind of fun. If you think being chased is fun, you're gonna love the rest of this trip. Yeah, you may have written off what just happened, but we're still fugitives! And besides, they're chasing her, too. Alright. Okay. Is there a path that I missed? Oh, yep, there is. Well, I'm not freeze him. Don't get sloppy. It'll be a hundred years before you can beat me. Because you've lived a lot longer, right? Mm, I feel power running all through my. Melange gel. <laughs> oh man. All right, all right. Azure Edge! I got a little worked up. All right. Oh man, this is like place is like kind of a maze. Keep hitting the wrong button. There we go. That's not where I want to go. Okay, there's a treasure up here. There we go. We actually stunned somebody for once. That booty blastia of yours. It's pretty, huh? That's not what I was gonna say. That was a pretty big commotion over breaking a single barrier, Blastia. I don't know. It seemed like the commotion Rita caused was even bigger. Stop bringing up trivial details! Of course people would be upset. It was a barrier, Blastia. Blastia are intertwined with almost every aspect of people's daily lives. Good point. Things got really crazy back in the lower quarter when the Aqua Blastia broke. I hope they can fix it soon. Yeah, I mean, that's what we're going through all this for. <laughs> I like the, uh, the portraits moving around. Guess we can do this. As you wish! Who's next? As you wish! Not bad. Oh, enduring protection. Holy power, come to me! We finished them off. I finished them off. Huh? Hmm. Still hit the wrong button. 
And then this thing doesn't... Okay, it did something. Not what I wanted it to do. Actually, gonna hit the right button when I mean to do that. Let's work together. Man, I was just getting warmed up. All right. Scarf, and I believe that. Is something for Rita. I was wondering if they might maybe did something if you hit them. Oh, there's a save point. That's useful. Don't get in my way. Like this? Yay! What, what was that? <laughs> That's one of my favorite little victory things. All right. Oh no, I turned around. Wrong thing to do. Uh, I'm gonna do it! <laughs> Wonderful! <laughs> How am I? Knock it over! And that was awesome! <laughs> Not that surprise attacks are like... A horrible thing in this game. All right, this one does not restore my health and stuff, which is a shame. Oh, no one. Oh, there we go. Okay, there's a treasure up there for us to get. Hagane. That looks like it's for the dog. Because for some reason, all the Japanese sounding weapons go to him. He must be some kind of ninja. Alright, so there's a boss coming up ahead, probably, considering that we've got a save point here. But the guy tells me to go back to Halur to start some side quests. So... It's kind of annoying. Although it seems like, according to the guy, this is just an easier time to do it than later when you're back in Halur for some other reason. So, we will... Go ahead this way. And back to Halor. Guess we can do this. As you wish. Alright. 
So first we need to talk to these people. If you head for the sea from here, you can't help but running into Emmied Hill. They say there's the remains of some monster on, in the ground about halfway up. The story goes that this monster was as long as the trunk of the tree of Halur. Big, right? Not long ago, I caught sight of a gallant man on my way home from the port city. He was tall and slender with silver hair, but he was headed into the mountains and nobody's seen him since. He was far too handsome to be a hermit. I wonder who he could have been. Hmm. Alright, and then we also need to talk to someone further in. This old guy here. Red, so very red. This year's especially bad. What's the matter, Mayor? Oh ho, you're back? What about something being red? Oh, it's just that this year's flowers are an especially deep shade of red. So I was thinking that the curse of the caged emperor's bride must be particularly strong this year. But I'm just joking, of course. Who's this caged emperor's bride supposed to be? About 300 years ago, the emperor at the time, Brimstone IV, planted a tree on the perimeter of Halur's barrier. He lived all of his later years shut up inside his castle, so people took to calling him the caged emperor. It's always so educational to have you around, Estelle. But what does the caged emperor's bride have to do with this tree? Legend has it that the caged emperor murdered his fiancée and buried her corpse beneath the roots of this tree. The tree gets its red color from the murdered bride's blood, which its roots absorb. Yeah, gruesome. What? What the hell? It's really nothing more than a legend. Of course, there's no way a tree could keep sucking up someone's blood for centuries anyway. Yes, but I'm worried that this macabre tale will spread and drive potential visitors away from our town. Um, then don't you think it's a bad idea telling it to travelers like us? I, uh, oops, okay, forget all about that story I just told you, could you? How are we supposed to forget something like that? If you don't forget it, the caged emperor's bride will hold a grudge against you. C cut it out. There you go again. You're just reinforcing the legend. Oops. There's no way that story's true. All right. So that apparently opens up yet another side quest string. I wish that, you know, there was something that would uh, tell you about these things. But uh, it really isn't. All right. Anyway, I'm going to go stay at the inn before heading back to the save point in the forest. So might as well check out the town, see if there's any synthesis I can do. All right. Today's Great Axe Chain Oka Poison Ward. Great Axe plus one, Chain plus one. Oka plus one, Poison Ward plus one. What is this? Casual ear grabber. Okay, that's uh... I'll let you know when there's new information. Check back often. Alright. Let's see here. First... 
Let's see, I want... I don't think I can get any more poison bottles. Let's get... And I got a lot. I mean, excuse me, I can't get any more apple gels, but I can get poison bottle. Oops. Which might be a good idea, considering that there are critters that poison. All right. And I don't think there's going to obviously be any good new stuff here. Um, but let's check out synthesis. All right. Great Axe plus one is better for uh, Carol. We have Chain plus one, which is better for Rita. Woke Up plus one is not better, but it does give him a skill that he does not have. So let's see here. First thing, let's grab this Chain plus one. And Oka plus one, and a Great X plus one. All right. And then let's equip these things. Yeah, this is actually a step backwards in ability, but I want to get that recover skill. Uh, and then Rita. This is actually an improvement for you, but I'm going to put the scarf on you for now until you learn backstep, and then I will switch you to chain, and then you've already got the great axe on you. All right, let's go. Looks like I'm trying to avoid fights, it's because I am, just because I want to save time if I can. We are going to have to do some fighting over again, but I might be able to avoid some things. Sorry if I hurt you! each other way too well. Hey, I learned something. All right. And let's see here. We want to go north and east. I'm trying to just remember the ways that I went. Yep. All right. Here we are. Let's save. And move on. Oops. This guy is fast. I feel like an easy win. Don't get careless. That was easy. Yep. And repeat leveled up. So apparently the boss fight coming ahead is really hard for this point of the game. It's one of those fights that's supposed to be harder than a lot of the boss fights that come after it. Ah! Th that's one of the monsters that attacked Halur! A survivor, huh? If we leave it here, it'll surely go back and try to attack Halur again. But Halur has the barrier protecting it now. Even so, how are the people of Halur supposed to sleep at night when beasts like this crawling around just outside the barrier? And we got little guys too. So let's see here. I can tell. All right.
how do I Let's see left change strategy? Huh. Trying to see how this works. Okay. I don't know. He's using a life bar. Okay. Stunned. Oh, the stupid thing. That was not easy. What the heck? It, it hardly put up a fight. Were, were you there? No, you there weren't. There could be a dozen more just around the corner. No worries. Seriously. 
Well, let's just hope there aren't too many more where it came from. All right. First thing I'm going to do is go back to the save point. And save. This is a good place to end the episode, so if you enjoyed this Let's Play, be sure to like and subscribe and click the bell icon if you're so inclined, and I'll see you later.